Candles are one of the top contributors to indoor air pollution as the most common types of candles, paraffin candles derived from petroleum, can release chemicals like soot, toluene, benzene and other chemicals into the air when lit. After learning this, I switched over to using only soy, beeswax and coconut wax candles that used essential oils for scent rather than chemical fragrances. As these candles can be quite expensive, I started making my own using repurposed jars. When sourcing a wax to make homemade candles with, there are a few things to keep in mind, particularly when it comes to soy wax. Even if a product says 100% soy wax, this can still be misleading. A candle using soy wax is processed like other candles and can have additives like other candles that help it to burn. To be labelled as a soy candle, it only has to contain 51% soy. Even 100% soy candles can contain a small amount of paraffin, so inquire further with the retailer. Check that the candle packaging shares the full ingredients list, not merely vegetable wax or plant wax, and that it's 100% paraffin free. Many soy candles contain only a small percentage of soy wax, with the rest being palm oil or paraffin. Soy grown on an industrial scale has a heap of negative environmental and socio-economic impacts. Just being a plant does not make it eco-friendly. While you can find GM-free soy from small holders producing soy in certain areas, the problem is that the majority of soy is still produced in South America. Soy crops are a major cause of deforestation in South America, are often GM, use a lot of pesticides, and the soy requires intensive processing to produce the wax. Natural doesn't always mean sustainable. Most soy is grown in monocultures on land where rainforests were cleared. Check that the soy wax used to make the candles has come from non-GMO soy that's grown outside of South America. Ensure the packaging states 100% soy too. Always choose scent free or look for soy candles scented with only pure essential oils. Also check to see that the wick is pure cotton and does not contain lead or zinc. Coconut wax is a great wax to use as the scent tends to last longer in this type of wax compared to others. The essential oils can sometimes have a weak scent due to how little of the oil can safely be infused in them. I sourced the coconut wax online and it took an extensive amount of research to find pure coconut wax as it isn't a common wax used by retailers. These coconut wax candles are made with both coconut and soy wax as this blend works well for holding the aroma and allowing for a 100% natural and fully biodegradable wax that is smokeless and soot free, resulting in a clean burning candle. To make these coconut wax candles, pull one cup of organic coconut wax that has been shredded and two cups of organic shredded soy wax into a metal pitcher and place in a large pot of water. Filled just enough to cover the outside of the pitcher without spilling over into it. Bring the water to a boil, then turn the heat down to medium heat and stir the wax occasionally until it has melted. Make sure no water spills into the container, then once it's melted, remove the wax from heat and stir in the essential oils. Then pour a small amount of the melted wax mix into the bottom of each glass jar you'll be using to hold the candles in. Return the pitcher to the hot water to keep the wax melted. Place a wick into the wax, keeping it to the center of each jar. You'll want to use a 60 ply cotton braided wick number four, and you need to cut it to the size of each candle. You can use a bamboo skewer or pencil to hold the wick securely in place while the wax sets. It will take around five to 10 minutes. Once set, fill the jars with the remaining wax and leave about an inch of room at the top. Wrap the end of the wick around a skewer or pencil until taut, then lay it horizontally over the jar. This will keep the wick in the centre while the wax hardens. It may take a few hours for the wax to completely set. I usually leave mine overnight. Once the wax has completely hardened, trim the wick to about half an inch, then it's ready to light. Do not trim it any shorter than this because it will make a smaller flame, which may cause the candle to tunnel. During the first burn, keep your candle lit for at least two and a half hours or until the entire surface has melted. And that's how you make coconut wax candles at home. 
I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know if you try making these candles yourself and what you think of them. I'd love to know. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.